Hello, my name is Zach Hawkins, and I'm one of the applications engineers here at National Instruments. And I'm going to be showing you the ECG application software that we've created. And what we did is we proto prototyped an evaluation board from Texas Instruments with NI Single Board Rio. So what we did is we created an adapter board for the Single Board Rio that connects the two. And that handles all of our digital connections from the ADC that's on the evaluation board to the Single Board Rio. And so the reason we have to do that is because the evaluation board actually gives us data back all over SPI communication. So once we did that, we created a component driver that sits on the FPGA and in LabVIEW real time. And from there, we actually created uh, an interface that streams data back to the host PC. So all the data coming back to the host PC is streamed over a network published shared variable. And then we have a host application that performs signal processing and other functions for our application. So the first thing that I'd like to show you is the actual acquisition that's going to happen on the host. So to do that, I have my launcher. And from here, I'll just select Acquire. And this is going to open up my main acquisition program. So the main acquisition program is going to acquire all the different leads that are on our ECG. So we have 12 diagnostic lead ECG, which is the industry standard, but only 10 signals are connected to a patient. So how do we get 12 from a 10 signal ECG? Well, that 10, 10 signal ECG is actually um, stripped down to about eight signals based on the signal conditioning that's on the evaluation board. So from those eight signals, we actually calculate the additional four to get the other four signals that make up the 12. So this application starts, and let's say we wanted to read lead one. Well, lead one is going to be a formulation of three different signals, so it's going to check that those leads are connected to the patient. So if I select OK, it's going to, or uh, yeah, sorry, if I select check leads, it's going to make sure that my leads are OK. It'll tell me that they're OK. And then I'll start reading back a signal. So I'm going to turn on the signal generator right now. and we should start getting ECG data back, which we can see on the screen. So from our ECG data, it's going to go along and it's going to buffer data for about 15 seconds before it en enables us to pause. So once the pause button shows up, that allows us to process the signal. So that 15 seconds that I was talking about, it stores it in memory, and then we can process the latest 15 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and hit pause. And now my process button comes up. So this is the power of LabVIEW is that we can process these signals in a very effective manner and we can also make small changes to our processing algorithms on the fly. So I'm going to select process. It's going to come up with a window that lets me select one of my ECG signals. I'm going to start with just lead one since that was one of the ones that I was reading. And it comes up with a window. And this is going to be the wavelet that I'm actually looking for throughout the entire ECG. So I'll click OK. And it's going to load that entire signal in. And from there, I'll just go ahead and run the processor. It's going to extract all the different wavelets throughout the signal. So if you actually can see this, as I scroll through the signal, then it's finding all the different wavelets in red. We'll go ahead and exit that. And we'll quit this application. So that same processing algorithm that we saw there is also available for pre-recorded signals if we hit the process button. And I can do that again. We launch our processor, and the screen looks pretty similar. The only difference is now that we have an import button in order to get our pre-recorded signal. Select import, and I'm going to have to open up a file. So I'll just select one of the ones that I had pre-recorded. Again, it loads it, the same thing. We're just going to select a signal, and it's going to pop up in the window. We'll click OK. And here we go again. We're going to process that. So again, we get all of the different signals throughout the waveform, and we've detected all those different wavelets. All right. And then the last thing that we have is our playback. So if we were recording a signal and we wanted to go and check a certain part of the ECG, maybe we saw some sort of anomaly that we wanted to take a look at, then we have our pre-recorded signal again that will open up, and it'll start playing that recorded signal for us. So here, we can either speed it up to find that anomaly that we were looking for, and then, let's say we found it, we can slow it back down. So I'll hit quit on that, and that's pretty much it.